Okay, folks. Just a yam kind of morning. Um, played a pretty cool gig last night at Memphis Slims. Probably should have took some photos or something, but anyway, it was cool. Um, small crowd. Actually, it wasn't. It kind of went in waves, man. There was like nobody at first, everybody, and then like dudes that really liked blues at the end. So that was really cool. I was really enjoying that. People were really listening. And uh, as someone that writes tunes, you don't get that very often. So when they're really listening and interacting, and uh, man, that was cool. Really enjoyed that. Anyway, it's going along nice. Um, me and Tim are playing tonight at Gilbert Street Hotel. Uh, it should be cool. It's a nice pub. Um, and then Sunday night, uh, Sunday Arvo. We're doing a Sunday Arvo sesh out at um, Nuri. So anyway, we got going on today. I just mucked around with the, the yam. Um, playing with the Guild last night, and it's really getting a hard time, but um, that's all right. Funny thing I noticed too, like, if anyone's got one of these yams, you know how nice they set up, and like this hasn't even been set up, and they just, they play good. Um, it's got a slightly longer scale than the Guild, and the Guild feels a lot softer. Um, I was mucking around this morning, and I was thinking, oh man, I'm not really not getting my um, bend so easy on the yam, which, um, you know, it's just what you get used to. They've got the same strings, or basically the same strings. Um, so what I did this morning, I was mucking around just a half, half step down. Um, Steve Ray Vaughan kind of tuned in a lot of those sort of old blues dudes. I thought it sounded cool, man, because you can get the bends easier, you know? That sounds wicked. I don't know if any of you guys muck around with that sort of stuff, but I um, I used to tune down to C, different um, guitars I've had, and D for a while. But what I found was when you're writing songs like, say, I don't know, just off the top of my head, say Country Bake or something like that, you play it in D and suddenly you can't sing it anymore because you've got to sing it different. And I think my voice is pretty in a box. Um, doesn't seem to go out too far one way or the other. Um, so yeah, no, I actually kind of like that. Um, and actually for a long time I played in a, um, what you call that, it's like um, slightly flat tuning I suppose. Um, and I think it sounds bluesy as hell, like just muck around there. The trouble with it is, it's almost to sit in or whatever, it makes it a bit hard and, you know, if you have jams with other people you've got to tune back up. But I'm actually kind of liking that sort of flat E sound. Um, I suppose that's what you call it. And um, yeah, I might surprise Tim tonight and just uh, be in the wrong tune and see how he goes with that. <laughs> Actually, no, nah, it's not that bad. He, he, he's used to me, man. Like, I used to play in alternate tunings a lot, so he's got all the harps covered and he'll just grab the right one anyway. So that's pretty cool, man. There's not many harp players can do that. But anyway, we're going to have a good gig tonight. I probably won't take the yam, but man, i got to say, that really sounds good, that sort of, uh, it's just flat. So maybe give that a crack. <laughs> Thank you. 
something like that. Sounds cool. <clears throat> Do like this guitar. Um, I might even try it even deeper again. You know what the thing is cool about it? It's got a pretty low action. No rattles, man. No rattles. This thing's a beast. Anyway, you guys all know that because you got them as well. Um, yeah, maybe give that a crack. Drop it down a bit. Drop it down a half step. Play some bends. <laughs> Cheers for watching.